Hello, third A. Look at that. We have started the week with a problem on Google Meet. Actually, it wasn't our fault. It was Google's. But anyways, let's try to handle this, right? I'm here to help you. <laughs> let's try to do something about it because I gotta help my kiddos. Everybody. Uh, for our first class, I planned to use page 48 of the student's book, okay? About parts of the body of the animals. Hair or fur. Hair or fur. This is hair or fur, okay? For example, dogs have got fur, cats have got fur, Zebras have got fur, scales, scales, examples. Snakes have got scales, alligators, crocodiles have got scales, okay? Scales, scales, scales. The pronunciation is kind of tricky, but if you repeat, you can manage. Feathers, feathers, these are feathers. Animals with feathers, chicken, rooster, parrot, they have got feathers. Wings, wings, these are wings. Animals with wings, the duck, the duck has got wings, right? Fen, fen, there it is, fen, fish, sharks, they have got fins. Beak, beak. Again, ducks, chickens, roosters. They have got beaks. So you go to the last page of your book, the last page of the student's book. You're going to remove the stickers or fur, feathers, wings, fin, and beak. And in the other column, with the name animals, you're going to write one or two examples of animals. We wrote dogs as an example of an animal with fur, scales, we wrote dragon and snakes, feathers, we wrote chicken, mm, wings, birds in general, fin fish and beak duck <laughs> then we moved on to the next page only about whales and the best part is personal okay you're going to circle yes or no according to your knowledge about whales first question can whales breathe under water b are whales the largest animals on earth c can whales sing D. Do whales sleep? And the last one, letter E. Do whales have scales? And I'm gonna put here the subtitles in Portuguese so everybody can understand what we're talking about. On page 50, we have the host. The host. In case you do not remember, this is host in Portuguese. Okay? So let's get going. The host says, Good afternoon, everybody! Welcome to the primary school science competition finals. And then, Alexandre, can you please continue the line of the host? Thank you, Alexandre. Beautiful pronunciation. Competitors, you are going to answer two questions about whales. Are you ready? Everybody, kiddos, everybody scream. Yes! <gasps> Great! Energy. This is something that I like. Energy. He says, first question. Which is the largest whale? A. The white whale. B. The blue whale. Aninha, could you please read Joe's line? Hmm. Very nice, Aninha. That's easy. Yes, Aninha. Very nice. The blue whale is the largest animal on earth. Good job, Aninha! Thank you for helping me out, girl! He says, 
Let's see your answers. <gasps> you are correct. <gasps> please go to page 51. Uh, Gusto, honey, could you repeat, please, with me? Okay. This is our last question. Great, Gusto. It was pretty nice. Which animal class... Again, again, Gusto. Which animal class the whales belong to? The whales belong to. Pretty nice. Repeat, please, Augusto. A. Mammals. Yeah, perfect. Or B. Fish. Bernardo, could you please read Joe's line? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you. Repeat, please. Well, whales live underwater just like fish. Now, I would like to call Bruninha to help me out. Bruninha gets to be Julie. Repeat, please, Bruninha. It's true, but fish have scales. Do whales have scales? Great, Bruninha, you did it. Henry, please read Jocelyn. Thank you, Henry. Isaac, please, Isaac. Read Joe's line of next one. Fish can breathe underwater. What about whales? Yeah, Leticia gets to be Julie again. <laughs> Please, Leticia, honey, repeat. That's it, Joe. You are a genius. Awesome. Joe Henrique, Joe Henrique, what's the host now? Yes. What are your answers? Great, fantastic. Please, the last part, Louise, the part with the host. Repeat, Louise. Congratulations, Julie and Joe. You are the winners of the science competition. Thank you, Louise. Page 52. The questions are, are you good at science? You can answer, yes, I am. No, I'm not. B, would you like to take part in a science competition. Yes, I would, but no, I wouldn't. And why and the reason? Yes, I would because I love competitions. Yes, I would because I love science. Or no, I wouldn't because I'm shy. No, I wouldn't because I don't like science. No, I wouldn't because I don't like competitions. What's your favorite animal? Examples. I love whales. They are my favorite animals. I love lizards. They are my favorite animals. I love dolphins. They are my favorite animals. Why do you like it? I like it because they're cute. I like it because they're big. I like it because they are strong. And D. Do you know any interesting facts about your favorite animal? Animal classification match the animal to its specific class. And the last page was page 54. Complete the crossword, then listen and check. So you are going to complete according to what you hear. I'm gonna start with amphibians. Clean your ears, pay attention. <laughs> amphibians are animals that live part of their lives in the water and part on land. I'm gonna put here the amount of letters. Okay? Land. And the first one to help a little bit more. Now let's talk about birds. Birds are the only animals that have feathers. Starts with the letter F. Reptiles. All reptiles have got scales. You can find reptiles in all habitats. Plural and starts with the letter H. Except in the polar region. And starts with the letter P. Fish live in the water. They have got fins, which is scales. The amount of letters and it starts with the letter F. And the last one, mammals. Mammals have got hair, the amount of letters, and it starts with the letter 
age all their bodies and produce milk to feed their babies the amount of letters and it starts with the letter M so when you finish completing the space you're going to get the words to complete the crossword and that's it <laughs> I hope next class Google Meet and the connection don't let us down but we can do it kids okay we can go through it together kisses and if you need um, any extra help just let me know because it's a pleasure to help you out enjoy the rest of your week